Morning H, welcome to day three. I'm meeting somebody this morning. Oh, guess who it is? This is now the Blue Ridge Parkway, folks. Slight issue. That's real snow and they're skiing. 34 mile range, 47 miles to go. Oops. So come up, one, two, three. There you go, job done. You do a fancy way. That's I, I it. still clap like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of demented seals. <laughs> like whenever you're in public and you're starting and you're just like looking around, looking around, you're like <laughs> <laughs> I don't care anymore. Oh no, I still suffer suffer from crippling anxiety in public. <laughs> yeah. I do not like people looking at me, which is hilarious since I'm large, so generally when you walk into a room people are like He's about nine foot five folks. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, this is on a slant though, there you go. <laughs> Actually it's sloping downhill and he's still probably <laughs> bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> right folks, this is Michael the Gorilla Biker. Links for his channel down below. Come and join me for day three. We're here in Mount Airy and we are heading to the Blue Ridge Parkway. How are you finding America anyway? Love it. Absolutely love it. I'd move here in a heartbeat. But my my oh, missus my missus isn't up for that. I'm hoping they let me stay, but we'll we'll see. Uh, well, yeah, folks, you might have worked out that um, Michael isn't a native. So what's no. the story? I really wanted to get out of Ireland yeah. because it's very expensive and whatnot, you know. We were going to go to Australia, then COVID happened. As it happened, uh, my boss at the time in the new job just said one day in the office, like, oh, they want someone to move to America. And I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> September 22, I've been here since. Wow. And I like it. It's very nice over here. So we, we had a chat on the Brew Time podcast, didn't we? Was it a year, two years ago? So if you haven't heard that one yet, folks, check that out. Leave the links down below. You got so lucky with the weather, because the weather just turned down in North Carolina from like, uh, quite a bit colder than this, to, to this perfectness. <laughs> right, folks, fuel in the States. It's not complicated, but it's different to the UK. Over here, the black pump is petrol, unless I think it's a BP. You go BP, it's green. But over here, yeah, BP is different. The black pump is petrol, and a lot of them are prepay. So you have to put your card in, get that, like like on the continent basically. And then there's, in fact, let me show you. The beauty of it is though, if you're an American credit card, you just tap and go. Oh yeah, I've tried tapping, I mean, that didn't work. So you either tap if you've got an American card, or if you're UK, whack your card in, put your PID in, then you take the nozzle out, whack it into your tank, and then you push the button that you want. So obviously 93 is their highest here. I think they do do, there are some petrol stations that do much higher grades, but 93 is like our super. Yeah, 93, because they do their measurement differently. So 93 here is like the equivalent of 98 uh, at home. Oh, okay. Obviously, energy density, you actually want to go the lowest <laughs> rod number that your bike likes, so. I won't get all nerdy, sorry. Michael's an engineer, if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> How do you like the sound of the two brothers? Oh, hang on, come by me. Oh yes, you would never <laughs> think that's a V-Strom. It sounds amazing. Yeah, the thousand especially sounds delicious. <laughs> Is this still on thirty-five? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean probably, but like where you are right now, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Some of the police cars. Jeez, you like you just oh, you wouldn't spot them. Well, I I wouldn't yet. Like the, the ones that aren't marked up, you only notice when you see a like a, an officer sat in them. They're all unmarked. I, I will say as well, they are incredible at hiding. They'll sit in like parked cars like that, don't they? Or they sit way yeah. off the road. Oh, they're they're proper sneaky. The only thing I will say over here, like at home in Ireland, I mean, I've gotten pulled for being three kilometres an hour over the speed limit, which in my in my box is absolute nonsense. Yeah, yeah, totally, uh, totally. Whereas like here, I remember even once I was I was on the way to work, if they'd pulled me over and given me a ticket, I would've been like, yeah, fair enough, I'm an asshole. Uh, all they did was pulled up beside me, flashed their lights, waved their finger, and then carried on with their day. And nice. I was like, that's proper, in my opinion, that's proper policing. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. They learned my lesson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely, I totally agree. I never saw the point in pulling people over for speeding unless it was like wholly inappropriate Crazy. or dangerous. Yeah. You ever miss the uh, police work? No, never. Yeah. I miss the crack with the with the troops. You know, I, I do miss that, but I don't miss the actual job. Not at all. That's fair. 
I can imagine it, it got more and more difficult in recent years too. Yeah, I just found like, as time went on, I, 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 joined, I joined the old bill for a reason, you know, I joined the old bill to help people to be that yep. to be that person that's running towards trouble because somebody's got to do it and, yep. and i thought well wh why should it not be me you know someone has to do it so let's do it and, yep. and, and to do what's right but it felt the longer i was in i started to feel like i started to feel like a almost like a soldier for the government you know it was like i was being told to enforce things that I didn't agree with, you know, and, and to yeah. me it's like, this isn't police work, why am I dealing with this? Oh, it's this one, sorry, doing a left here. And I just, I don't like that, I don't like anyone telling me what to do, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to be that person telling other people what to do when I didn't agree yeah, with it. Yeah, I, I get that. I love that sign, every time I come into Parkway and it's no commercial vehicles. Yeah. Like, magnificent. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? It is. I love that. This is now the Blue Ridge Parkway, folks. Now, the States has these parkway roads, and they are specifically built as driving and riding roads, so you're not allowed, like, commercial traffic and things like that on them. So it's just perfect, perfect to go for a ride on. Yep. Now, that's a 35 mile an hour speed limit. Hmm. <laughs> I won't. No, I'm going to say it. It's for the Harley riders out there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, come, come in here and riding roads like this, the Harley makes sense to me now. Uh, like, the past few days oh. I've just thought to myself, oh wow, it would be awesome on a Harley. Oh, 100%. It's just smooth, smooth turns, you know. But imagine, imagine building a road purely for enjoyment. I, I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Yeah, that, look, look at that view. I should stop, Absolutely but you know. Absolutely incredible. Oh, no, don't worry, there's like 50 billion more of those views. <laughs> oh, am I taking a mech with speed? Should I slow down? I should have said it, actually. So the one thing is, I cannot get pulled over for criminal speeding because I'll get deported. Gotcha, all <laughs> received. No worries, no problems. Which is uh, which is 20 plus miles an hour over the limit. But other than that, I'm good. Oh, okay. That's point. <laughs> <laughs> or anything over 100 miles an hour also. Yeah, got you. You are the second motorcyclist I've seen in three days. Really? Yep. But then I suppose Daytona's on, so a lot of bikers maybe have headed south. That's, that's true. That's for Daytona, true. which is what I was going to be doing. But I'm glad I've not. I'm glad I've, I've hung around here now. Why did you, why did you decide against it? This, like the, <laughs> the, the, ro the roads I've had the last three days has just been... You know, it's been amazing. So, uh, why yeah. go? Why go down to Florida for what would be effectively two nights at Daytona Beach and a bit of riding around Florida, which I've done anyway. I've not done. Yeah. I've not done the festival, but I've been to Daytona Beach. I've, I've ridden around Florida, uh, and I just thought it just seems daft to come all this way, spend all that money, and and not take advantage of this. Oh dear, what do we do here then? Uh, usually you can go right into the detour or left in the detour if uh, Cali Moto figures it out for you. It just, it just means because it was winter there's a section of the road damaged right. or something. Let's go down That's here. what I'm kind of hoping doesn't happen to me uh, in May. Because <laughs> I, I really want to ride the whole thing. Yeah. Are you going to do another big trip on the Dixer? <laughs> yeah, I will do. I'm not sure what yet, but um, I will do. I need to get it insured. That's the biggest stumbling point at the moment, is insurance. Really? Yeah, it's just it's ridiculous. I mean, they're, they're wanting like 450 quid, 300, 450 quid for third party only. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Really? Yeah. That's insane. So um, I need to get that sorted. And then once she's insured, I can get her MOT'd. And then, uh, then I'll just hit the road. Right, there we're doing a left, left somewhere down here. Oh, there it is there. Right, folks, slight issue. Seems the Blue Ridge Parkway, they're doing quite a lot of construction work on it over the next, it looks about the next 30 odd miles, 40 miles. So we're having to come off this and we're gonna do a little bit of a, a detour through Sparta and Boone and then back on the Blue Ridge. I think Michael's gonna leave me at Sparta, we'll see. But anyway. Uh, abandon, abandon, it's the correct term. Abandon, yeah, yeah abandon. You know who your mates are, don't you? <laughs> That's the sign we like. Yeah. And it had been shot as well, I love that. 
never trust a country that doesn't shoot its road signs. Oh, this is tight. Oh, yes. That's tasty. That's tasty. <laughs> this is That's awesome. That's a lovely corner. Oh, mate, we could have missed all this. We could have. There you go. It worked out well. Life throws you opportunities. It does indeed. And you, I mean, you can't go wrong when you're in the mountains anyway, to be honest. Yeah. This road is a racetrack. It's awesome, isn't it? And it's pretty much dry as well. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. Close, close enough. <laughs> Have to watch for the shadows, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's the grit, the gravel that gets me. It just uh, yeah. so, as soon as I see a, even a tiny bit of it, you're like, oh god, no. The old butt clenches up, you know. Yeah, it's the worst thing you can do, isn't it? Is like that. It's just relax, just go over it. This has been awesome. This road is massive. <laughs> <laughs> right folks, that's Michael, he's off. I'm chatting to the camera. Michael's turning around now, he's got about 200 miles to head home. So thank you very much for making the effort. Alright dude, you look after yourself mate, alright? You too boy, have a good oh, one. Thanks again Paul, bye bye. No, 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 thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Pleasure. Right then folks, and then there was one. What a top man. Michael, if you're watching this, thank you very much, mate, for making the effort. Much appreciated. And now we're back on the road. We just have to continue on this sort of diversion. We're heading towards a town called Boone, and then from there we head south and rejoin the Blue Ridge Parkway. So let's see what the day brings us. So this is the 221, I believe. Again, just beautiful flowing roads. I mean, where did we get this? Where did we get this sort of image of American roads just being long and straight? I think it's over in the West, you know, out in the desert states. That's what they're like. But, I mean, just look at these roads. Look at them. These roads will rival any of the great riding roads we get in Europe. Just awesome. They just flow beautifully. There's hardly a, a straight section on it. Loving this, folks. Absolutely loving it. It was awesome to meet up with Michael there. It really was. But nothing beats just hitting the road. Yourself on the bike. No real plan. Follow your nose. I love it. Love it. I need this, every now and then I need this, it just recharges the soul. I've got a busy year ahead with all my tours, the Chicken Strips tours. I'm looking forward to doing all them, meeting all the new people, meeting up with old friends again. I can't wait. This is amazing. Did you ever think you'd get stuff like this? I, I knew this sort of stuff existed over here, but I didn't think it existed to this scale. I mean, it's literally mile after mile after mile, state after state after state in this neck of the woods. In, in three days now, ooh, <laughs> that tightened up, didn't it? <laughs> in three, day, three days now, since um, I left Indiana, it's just been this. That's one of the occasions I'm glad I um, I trail brake. You know, I, I just gently load the front brake a lot of the time. If I'm taking a bend, especially these tighter bends at any sort of speed, I'll just preload the front brake just a smidgen, just so something happens like that where it does suddenly tighten up. When you apply a little bit of pressure to the brake, it's not just snatching the brake on. You've already got a little bit of pressure on there. So hopefully you're not gonna you know lock the front and tuck it. Famous last words, obviously. But yes, you're right, you know, you should be traveling at an appropriate speed. Blah 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 blah. Loving this. I don't know if I've mentioned it folks, but I am loving this. 
that's real snow and they're skiing <laughs> so come up one two three <laughs> I'm just uh, outside a town called Boone uh, yeah all-terrain park there's people skiing wow it's like 55 degrees it actually feels quite warm right should be joining the Blue Ridge Parkway again soon I'll change batteries because this one's nearly out look at these roads oh look at these houses oh wow the houses have all changed much bigger substantial as well come here folks get your flights find somewhere to hire a bike Hertz Hertz rentals hire bikes now just hire a bike hit the road right that's it on to the Blue Ridge Parkway so come up one two three okay just changed batteries and we are back on the Blue Ridge Parkway it is safe so let's see what this road's like everybody when I posted up to say I was coming to the States and asked people for recommendations of places to ride, everybody without fail said the Blue Ridge Parkway. Now Blue Ridge Parkway is a huge, it stretches hundreds and hundreds of miles and it runs sort of east to west, sort of north, well, east to west, north to south, you know, right across basically from uh, I think North Carolina all the way across to is it Tennessee? Google it! Google it, that'll be the best bet but it's a massive stretch of road so I'm doing a chunk of it well I was supposed to be doing about 200 miles of it today but we've got another 110 miles left we'll see how we go today blowing rock oh hey another biker hardly seen any at all oh my god look at that view is there a lookout here? I think we're going to have to go and have a look at the lookout Oh my god, Green Mountain Overlook, wow, I think it's drone time, let's do it. <laughs> going to sound spoiled the views along the Blue Ridge are beautiful stunning some of the best I've seen on on this road trip so far they have been amazing but the road itself it's good don't get me wrong but it's um, it's not as engaging as some of the other stuff I've done and it's a 45 mile an hour speed limit the whole way which I'm conscious of you know this is a fairly busy road so I kind of think if there's gonna be police it might be along here it's enough to keep you awake for sure you know it's it's lovely again it's beautiful flowing but it's not as tight and nagery as some of the the mountain stuff we've done in the last day or two that sort of stuff i i like this is lovely don't get me wrong oh i sound a right spoiled idiot don't i sorry i mean the blue ridge parkway is hundreds and hundreds of miles long i think it's like 400 miles long and i'm purely doing the stretch between boone and Asheville see these sorts of views there into the valley you saw it on the drone it's the same all the way down all the way along the ridge so far oh today's the first day I felt tired it's about right really it's day three your body you're starting to settle into the trip now again I've got no plans for tonight Asheville just looks like a, a reasonably large place and then that leads on to the Pisgah Highway which again a lot of you told me I should ride so I'll try that one tomorrow I was hoping to do the Pisgah tonight I'm glad I didn't actually because it just wouldn't have given me any time to spend with Michael you know we wouldn't have been able to stop for lunch and get the crack so we'll deal with all that tomorrow quite a big day tomorrow Chera, Chera Cheracola Skyway, Cheracola Skyway, that one anyway, Tail of the Dragon both directions, a tiny bit of the Moonshine Road, the 28, for your road positioning, normally for a right-hander I'd be way over here, 
but I've noticed the Americans cut corners a lot plus sometimes they're in such really big trucks pulling big trailers and the wheels go over the center line anyway so it does pay just to move over a smidgen oh road closed 11 miles ahead okay let's see what that brings Right, folks, that was Mount Mitchell, the view. All that drone footage you've just seen, what a stunning place. People around here are so nice. A car just pulled up and it was just a local guy, he just said, oh, they've just opened up the, the parkway. So he thought he'd come for a, a drive, see what's going on. He said it's normally full of snow up here. <laughs> it's like 67 degrees. So, 51 miles left towards Asheville. I think I dropped a marker at a, a sort of Holiday Inn, I think. Not too far from the Pisca Highway that we'll be doing tomorrow. Oh, I need fuel, I forgot about that. Now, when I stopped at uh, Mount Mitchell viewpoint there, I sent, I did a big update on my Instagram, on my Instagram stories. Now, if you've not seen any of the other vids, I've actually been given a data sim, an e-sim, by a company called Easy Sim. I had uh, Bobby Bolton, Bobby and Marie, on my Brewtime podcast, and their uh, One Life Truck It, they're riding a big man truck all the way to Australia. So I had them on the podcast, and they're sponsored by Easy Sim. So Easy Sim reached out and said, look, I hear you're going to the States. We'd love to give you a, a data sim, keep you connected. And that's what they've done. So it's brilliant, really, really easy to install. And it just means you've then got your two sims. You've got your normal sim, and they give you the instructions to uh, install the easy sim and set it as your data sim, your primary data sim. So I was up on Mount Mitchell there, put the drone up, and I just updated my Instagram. Four and a half thousand, is it feet or meters? Yeah, feet up a mountain, and I have 5G. So check the easy sim out. If you do a bit of traveling, oh. If you do a bit of traveling, they could save you an absolute fortune. Okay, so the road is blocked. There was a detour here. We'll have to take that. No fuel, okay. Oh, this is exciting, 128. Let's see what this brings. I tell you what, it has actually got quite cold. It's dropped to 51 degrees. I'm just gonna chuck a log on the fire, get the old heated grips on. Actually, I better stop and just double check this. Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad I stopped and checked that. This is a dead end road that just goes up a mountain. And you're never gonna believe it, but there's no other way Gonna have to go all the way back down Blue Ridge Parkway. God, an hour and a half now, rather than the 45 miles. It's 63 miles, and I have 44 miles range. We better pass a petrol station. I haven't seen petrol station at all on the parkway. So this could get interesting, folks. Okay, so this is saying I turn right down here. Oh yeah, there's a road, beautiful. Wow, look how twisty that is. Good God, wow. That looks amazing. The 80 South. Oh, well, let's see, oh my God, look at it. Now the reason I'm not on Cali Moto, folks, is because I like it's imperative. I have 40 mile 
range now in my fuel and it's 50 odd miles to Asheville so it's imperative that I get there Cali's fantastic for finding roads for finding you know really good squiggly roads to ride but it doesn't have any up-to-date traffic info roadblocks anything like that so I need to get there so I've whacked it into Apple Maps uh, some advice I was given by quite a few Americans don't use Google Maps over here apparently Google Maps isn't very good in the States for some reason Apple Maps is much better or the Android version so I've got it on Apple Maps what a road this is my cup of tea just a little bit tighter but Nadia 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 twistier <laughs> This is the sort of stuff we've been on most of the trip so far. Time's also against me because it's now after five. Well, we're soon going to be in the witching hour as the sun sets and that's when your deer come out. And Michael was saying, uh, maybe not so much today, but tomorrow there's elk where I'm going. There might even be elk here, you know. I've seen sign for elk like for the past couple of days. Mind you, I've also seen signs for Bigfoot. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Oh, well, you know, with the greatest of respect, people, you can keep the Blue Ridge and put me on roads like this. Thank you. Blue Ridge is lovely. Look at the squiggles on that. Wow. Blue Ridge is lovely just to, you know, trundle along. And if you're in a car, yeah, that would be beautiful. There's lookouts abound everywhere. There's loads of lookouts. Like viewpoints. But if you like to ride, this is the option you want to take. Oh, it's obviously meant to be, folks, even if I run out of fuel. What a road. What a road we've ridden. Life just has a way. I shouldn't say this because I'm probably going to crash now or run out of fuel for it and be stranded. But life just seems to have a way of whatever it's got lined up for you, it's coming your way. Whatever you do, it just seems to put things in order that what it wants you to have, you get. Whatever that is. Good luck, bad luck. Oh, wow. Oh, this is Sparta. No, phenomenal. No, 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 no. Phenomenal. Oh, my God. That is sensational. What a road. The road surface is absolutely billiard table smooth too. Wow. Absolutely awesome. 34 mile range, 47 miles to go, oops, look at this, it just gets better and better, look at this lake, oh wow, like these houses, that is where I want to live, I've always wanted to live up in the mountains on the banks of a great big lake, oh wow, that'll do me, Sink them up, one, two, three. Okay, we just turned onto the 70, Route 70. Still no fuel, getting a little bit nervous. 22 mile range. There must be fuel along here. It's telling me to turn off in six miles though. Ooh, is that fuel? No. Firearms. <laughs> I think this is the Pisca Highway. Look at this road. <laughs> so this is now Tale of the Dragon. Wow, what a corner that is. 
<laughs> this is a tree of shame I was telling you about. Look at that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha